time. Hey, do you want to hear an idea? I'm like, I mean like a really good idea. I mean award-winning Fortune 50 idea. You can take this idea all the way to the bank if you want. What you should do is you should make a video about a video game that you played for about three hours saying that it's bad. Except you didn't because at the end you said it was about six, seven out of ten. That doesn't matter. That's a great idea, right? That's, that was that was a really solid long-term nuclear peace solution right there. Now we're gonna try this again. Look, it's a nice title. It's a nice thing. I'm saying nice things now. Do you, do you like me now, father? I mean, audience? I've actually played the game now for a proper amount of time. Like, I beat the game. I did the stupid Valkyrie shit. I did it everything. I played the game and now I have a more nuanced opinion on it. That's exactly the same as my old opinion. Opinion. My clairvoyance strikes once again. I know what I'm going to think even before I even think it. What do you have to say to that, Steve? Steve Whiteman? I see you there, Steve. You know, she doesn't actually have feelings for you, Steve. Hmm. But Cynthia, however, that's a that's a different story. And I can also tell Steve that you're thinking about how you've always wanted to learn how to code, but you've just never really known how to go about it. Well, guess what? I thought about that thinking even before you thought to thunk it. And you can think about thunking it if you go to bit.ly slash kindsnack. We can get a grand and a half's worth of Python development software and tutorials for just $20. Fuck, if there is a better time to learn a valuable language, Life skill, I, I haven't seen it. At bit.ly slash kind snack. It's a humble bundle plug, eat a dick, slide all the money up my way. So God of War, I actually have a decent and responsible opinion about that game now. I'm no longer just a Xbox fanboy who's who's dumbass, because I, I I didn't know that Kratos didn't go to Norway, he, he went to Midgard. He went to Midgard, an entirely different realm. That's, it, Midgard isn't just Earth, it's not the human, it's not, it's not the human realm, it's, it's, it's a different realm. He could school me on Norse mythology. Loki doesn't fuck a horse in this game. That's why it's bad. Fuck you. But God of War, I actually have a nice thing to say about it. And l let me get this completely understood. If this game was just the nice things, uh, the, the 10 out of 10, 20 out of 10, everything out of 10, give it all the awards. Best musical of the year. Fuck it. Because when this game is good, it is fucking mind-blowingly fantastic. The character interaction between Kratos, boy, and head is just brilliant. Brilliant. I love it. If this game was just 20 hours of those three on a boat talking shit about Norse mythology, just brilliant. Brilliant. I wish for nothing more of this earth than for the guy who voices head to make an audiobook about Norse mythology. Please. Please, I'm begging you. Audible.com. And I also like how Kratos has evolved as a character. He's not perfect, but, you know, that's what a character is. He's no longer this unlikable cunt. He's not just Hitler with a vitamin D deficiency anymore. He's actually grown. He's actually become human. The only thing that's missing is Kratos. Kratos, Kratos needed to just shed a tear. Just shed a single manly tear. Just so I could see the big lug finally break down. Really show his emotions. Also, so I could be a massive dick and overlay the bit where he cuts off someone's legs just because he likes their shoes. <coughs> also, the combat, which, in the right situation, God, ah, oh, it, it fucking slaps, man. In most games, you have a bunch of weapons which eventually become redundant. In this, however, there's two weapons, and they're both fucking cool. They're both really satisfying and really fun to use. The moves and the abilities and the strategy and there's literally, there's an ability that's basically just the world from JoJo. I am a fucking virgin. However, this is the start where I need to start being a meanie bobini again. Because as great as the great parts are, there's lots of not great parts. And no matter how perfect people keep saying that this game is, there's plenty of shit to be a dick about. First of all, the story. Some reason that's toted as this great, deep, meaningful, blah, blah, blah. It just exists to continue the story. You start at point. Point 
A and you've got to work your way to point B. There's no interweaving side anything bullshit. It's just the video game story. You try and get to the thing, but the great farce of Odin is in your way, so you need the mystical bum fluff of yogurt hymen. And you get to the thing, but it's the wrong thing. So to get to the right thing, you need the ancient kidney stone of Bendigo. Ah, uh, oh, that's not it. Uh, how about we try the ancient cock splinter of Yo Gabba Gabba? It's just that for 17 hours until it just stops with an audible. <laughs> I understand the story is just a vehicle for the characters to interact and to gawk at the beautiful set pieces, but your vehicle is a 1996 Honda Civic. It is lame. It is a lame vehicle. Particularly not when 100% of the characters are particularly interesting looking at you, Ms. McGuffin. I know there's more to her than that, but it's just kind of funny how she mostly just exists to keep the plot moving. Now, whether or not the story is good isn't end all be all of her game is good, I will be the first person to chant that shit. Story just exists to keep the game moving, but the problem is the game isn't always worth moving to. Those fucking puzzles, are, please, why? Why? There's two types of puzzles in this world. There's portal puzzles, and then there's every other puzzle ever puzzles. With portal puzzles, you spend five minutes trying to solve the puzzle. Then, once you find the solution, you instantly start executing it. However, with every other puzzle ever puzzles, you instantly figure out the solution, then you spend the next five minutes executing it. And that isn't fun! That isn't stimulating! Where's the stimulation in finding three shapes on a wall to open a fucking chest? Whose idea was it to break the flow of this game where it is standard routine to stamp on skulls like it's a Jewish wedding, to find shapes on a wall like it's bloody play school just to open a bloody chest? That's just not fucking fun! Neither is the combat 50% of the time! The other 50% fan fantastic brilliant yeah love love you you're doing great sweetie but the other 50% is fucking bullshit because the enemies are so terribly designed either they don't telegraph their attacks enough or they have way too much health so it feels like you're just punching a brick wall and some of them just exist to give boys something to fucking do also valkyries Fuck Valkyries. I know there's supposed to be the extra content you do after you're done with the game, but they just feel so cheap to fight. They're like Lords of the Fallen bosses. They're just not satisfying. Okay, maybe they're kind of satisfying. And it really cunts me off because there's so much that's great about this game, but it's just wrapped in stupid the Mars bar coated in wax. I like this idea. I like where they're going with this. I hope they get better at this. I love the chemistry between the three main characters because Kratos is like, Ugh. and Boy is like, Yee. And Head is like, I'm Scottish. I just hope the enemies get designed better and I hope the puzzles get put through a wood chipper. And I hope whoever designed that troll with a pillar boss gets their cock put in a guillotine. See, I can be an actual games journalist. Look at me. Are you proud of me, mom? Yay! Please stop yelling at me. Yeah.